in primary care, my passion and um, real interest is in women's health, reproductive health care, and gender affirming care in the primary care setting. Transgender and gender diverse patients can and should receive care in the primary care setting. It's care that we are absolutely qualified to provide. And if we do provide this care, that is one fewer specialist that a patient needs to see. It decreases the burden of how many appointments they have and really holistically cares for a patient in one setting. I did encounter more trans and gender diverse patients as an attending and realized I wanted to be able to more thoroughly provide this care for them. I can work with students who have an interest in this or maybe even were never really truly exposed to it so they can see what transgender and gender diverse care in primary care really looks like. We can have more in-depth discussion um, so that they understand what that means not just to me but to the patient is not just the hormones we prescribe it is taking care of the patient and acknowledging what their gender identity is whether it's identifying preferred names and making sure that we're really only using those identifying pronouns addressing them um, regularly because these things are fluid for the for many in this community and acknowledging that it's not one static thing gender affirming care is not a prescription I write it is the way we treat a patient.